Hello buddy, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna be showing you everything that has been added, changed and fixed in Minecraft 1.16.2 Yes, we got the full release. I'm on Java edition right now and at the moment it's not out for Bedrock edition yet But I'll add a pinned comment under the video once it's out for Bedrock as well But currently it's only out for Java edition 1.16.2 I'll just go over all of the changes that were added since 1.16.1 let's create a new world and let's show off all the new features in 1.16.2 main one being the piglin brutes of course so if you've already seen my previous videos you will already know most of this stuff already but if you haven't seen the previous videos make sure you subscribe so you won't miss the next update videos for 1.17 of course but let's just get started there are two new accessibility settings that have been added in this update so if you go to options accessibility settings you see distortion effects and fov effects so these are for the nausea effect and portals and for the speed effect so you can change this uh, amount and it changes the amount the nausea effect will affect your screen so if we give ourselves some nausea we go we give ourselves nausea you can see this distortion effect on the screen but if we now change this accessibility setting to very low like this you will see that it's much less noticeable and you actually also see a green tint appear on the screen so that's a replacement for the nausea effect if you can't really play with the big distortions and something similar happens for speed so if we give myself some speed speed 10 you will see the fov change dramatically but if you put this accessibility setting down very much the fov won't change at all when you get speed you still will have the speed effect of course and nausea effect as well but you just won't see it that much on the screen also the, a chat delay option has been added so in chat settings you now have chat delay over here and this means that if you put it for example in 4 seconds and you type some messages in the chat there we go it takes 4 seconds for each next message to appear and if you press F3 and D normally the chat disappears but also your pending messages will disappear there have been some changes to Bastion Remnants. So the chest loot has been tweaked a little bit. And also chests are now more likely to spawn on top of Gilded Blackstone. So here we have some chests and as you can see they spawn most of the time on top of Gilded Blackstone. There is one block over here that's not Gilded Blackstone but most of them are. We can also go through the loot a little bit of course. So there have been some diamond tools and iron tools added to this as well. You can get in the Bastions now. There have also been some block changes. You can now craft a brewing stands with blackstone like this. Both types of lanterns will now be waterlogged as you can see. Both the crimson and wart fungus can now be placed on mycelium. And you can now place chains in any direction you want. As you can see they can now also be placed sideways. Previously they could only be placed up like this. Now also sideways. Then there's also an inventory change. If you go over to the tools over here they are now sorted by material so first all the wooden tools stone gold iron diamond and then the netherite tools of course totems of undying will now also give fire resistance so let's see that happening let's go into survival we have the totem in our hand and there we go we get fire resistance one for 40 seconds enderman will no longer place the blocks they are holding on top of bedrock so this is very helpful if you're of course on another roof and then an enderman is there, places a block on there. It would actually make mobs able to spawn because mobs can't spawn on bedrock blocks. So they would be able to spawn and would mess with all types of things. So enderman can now no longer place any blocks on top of bedrock. You can now leash zoglins as you can see. And if zombified piglins now spawn on top of a strider, they will have a warp fungus on a stick with them. Let's see if we can get one of them. It is very rare to get them, but they can spawn sometimes. There we go. As you can see, they now have a warp fungus on a stick in their hand, which makes it so they can actually control the striders. And then the most important part of this update, of course, is yes, they removed hero brine. They almost forgot, but they didn't. In mobs, it says removed hero brine. Here it is, removed Herobrine. And now on to the most important part of this update of course. They added a new mob called the Piglin Brute. It's right here. They are stronger versions of Piglins and of course they also spawn in the Bastions and protect the treasures. So unlike the Piglins, they will not be distracted by gold and aren't afraid of fungus or any type of other block. You just have to fight them and kill them. So Piglin Brutes attack players on site and uh, no matter how they are dressed so if you wear gold armor they will still attack you and Piglin Brutes also have axes as you can see and they don't have any armor. 
Piglins will not also become angry if you open a chest mine card. Of course, I'm in creative, so they won't become angry at me at this moment. But they would be angry if I were to be in survival. Also, bartering loot has been changed a bit. So a couple of items have been removed from the bartering list and a couple have been added as well, like Blackstone. There's also a couple of changes to bats and respawn anchors, but mainly just uh, about the position where you spawn once you die. So if you want to know more about that, then check out the video of the pre-release that was added in. There will be a link to that in the iCard on the top right hand side of your screen. And the villagers will now emit green particles when joining a village, setting a home bed, acquiring a job site or profession. Let's get a bed here and he should assign this bed with beautiful green particles. And he's almost killing himself, I don't know why. Villagers will also lose their jobs once they go into a different dimension. There have also been a lot of technical changes because the custom worlds that also support custom biomes. There have been small improvements to the data and resource pack selection screens and tags can now have optional entries. The execute in command now respects dimension scaling. I don't know what that means but it has to do something with the custom dimensions. And both spawn point and set world spawn were changed a little bit because you can now also set the angle at which you want to respawn. So you can add your coordinates and after that you can add an angle at which you want the player to respawn. So as you can see I will now respawn at a specific angle all the time. Go respawn and I face the bastion, respawn and I face the same way each time. So there's also been some changes to customized world generation but you can look into that yourself with the link in the description. There will be more information of course on this update as well. And also the pack version for data packs and resource packs has been raised to 6. And then of course there are a whole lot of bugs that have been fixed but we already went through most of the important ones in the snapshot videos. If you want to know more about them of course go watch all the snapshot videos we did on 1.16.2. But there we go those are the main changes in 1.16.2. If you like this video please make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. But I want to see you in my next videos until then. Bye bye. <laughs>